Hey guys, so I've got a classic of magic for you today, the cups and balls. I decided to dress up a bit too because uh, you guys deserve the best, and apparently the best is me wearing a hat. So uh, here we go. Starts off, as all uh, cups and balls routines do, by showing the cups. Very important part of the routine, obviously, the cups. I'm never quite sure if they're as important as the balls, but uh, they're certainly uh, at least 50%, let's face it. So, now we have the ball. I can find the other two. Um, but uh, here we go, we'll do the best we can, okay? I'm just going to tap it on top of that cup, and you see it drops straight through. Take it again, tap it, and you see straight through again. Get a solid cup. Tap it a third time, straight through again. But I've still only got the one ball, and I need three. And since I couldn't find the other two, I'm going to have to do some magic. So what I'll do is I'll just make it disappear. You see it splits into three. So I hope that's okay. I hope I'm not going too fast for you. I'll tell you what, though, before I go much further, I'm going to have to lose this hat. It's just a little much. It may be dashing and all, but it's hot. So I'm uh, going to pop it uh, on the table there and uh, carry on. So we've got uh, three cups. Three balls. And we just go along the line here, make the balls disappear, so the cups are empty. Having done that, this is the fun part. I'm sure you all saw that coming. But maybe I'm going a little fast. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get rid of this ball. And uh, also I'll uh, I'll get rid of this cup too. We don't need this cup anymore. We'll just uh, pop that one down there out of the way, but forget about that, just these two cups now, okay? So, this one, I'm going to put it in that hand and slide it underneath that cup, okay? Now, I'm going to take this ball, place it down there, nice and neat, nice and fair, no cheating, the cup is empty, and I'm going to put that down on top of there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snap my fingers, and snap my fingers again, and you see, the cup, the ball rather goes from underneath this cup, and it joins the other ball underneath this one. Maybe I'm still going a bit too fast. Here we go. Here we go. I'll, uh, I'll get rid of this ball. One ball, one cup. Can't say any further than that, can we? Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to make the ball disappear. You see, it's not under the cup. It's not in my hand. Right? So uh, what I want to do, obviously, I still need the ball, so I'm going to bring it back. There we go. That's a good snap. See, it's back under the cup. But uh, I'll tell you what, back to, back to square one, guys. I mean, we don't need that ball anymore. We'll, uh, we'll get rid of that and... Uh, We'll just bring these ones back into play, okay? The problem I've been having here is these balls, they're slightly too small. You see, they're quite hard to control. I've done a number of takes, I've been dropping them all over the place. They're really hard to hold on to. So what I like to do is I like to use bigger balls, but of course, the problem is where do I keep the bigger balls? Of course, I keep them in the cups. Now, that's still not ideal. I mean, I'd like to use a bigger ball if I could, but uh, in a routine like this, there's just, there's just no space for a bigger ball. But, so, you know, just something I'm going to have to deal with. This magic trick was brought to you in part by Shakespeare, P.G. Woodhouse at the bottom there, the Oxford English Dictionary, and the story of art. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that, and uh, I also have to set a challenge, I don't want to drag this out too much, so here we go. Next video, everyone's next video, including mine, because I think it'll be fun, everybody else will hate it, uh, has to be done without the use of the letter E. Kate, you'll realise this is a reference back to the good old days when we used to play the no E game in my pants. Good days. David Old Chum, I will see you tomorrow.